Once you've developed your torch and filler rod skills, you can attempt to weld two pieces of metal together. For maximum weld strength, you need to leave a gap between the pieces of about 2mm. Small tack welds will maintain the gap while you weld. Tack in the middle first to minimise the expansion and contraction of the metal, opening and closing the gap. Tacking is an important first step as it gives the weld metal the chance to fully melt together along its edge. Start by creating a molten puddle, keeping the filler rod close by to warm it up. Once the puddle is big enough, you can dip the filler rod in and out of the puddle, but do this quickly to prevent the filler rod sticking to the puddle. Try and maintain a torch angle of about 60 to 70 degrees. This helps preheat the work in front of the puddle. At the same time, try and keep the tip of the flame between 3 and 5 millimetres above the work. Keep the filler rod on an angle of about 30 to 40 degrees. This keeps the filler rod red hot and ready to melt into the puddle. Your finished work should show a 1 to 2 mm raised weld, 10 to 12 mm wide. Turn it over to ensure the weld metal has penetrated through the gap. A cross section of the weld should show the raised weld metal on top, called reinforcement, and weld metal between the two joined pieces, called penetration. Oxyacetylene welding does take practice. Asking a teacher for feedback on your technique will help you reach the required welding standard.